Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me testing the new Fenty setting powders. As you saw in a previous video, or the not the last video, but the other Fenty review, I tested out the concealers. And when I did go in store to buy the concealers, I was, I was also looking for the powders, but none of the stores had them, which is very unfortunate. But I was able to pick them up earlier this week. So I have the powders right here. I was going to order them online, but I figured it would probably take really long to get them. So I got the powders in coffee and nutmeg. These are the two shades that um, they recommended for the 400 to like 490 to 498 range. So the powder is called the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Um, it says it's light as air setting photo soft finish for all and then apply with a powder puff setting brush to set foundation concealer and contour okay and let's see what Sephora has to say so Sephora says it's a super fine weightless loose setting powder in eight sheer shades to perfect and extend makeup wear for a filtered photo ready finished on lock and it's a silky loose powder that works all day to reduce shine and blur the look of pores fine lines and imperfections for a hyper smooth filter that won't flash back eight versatile shades melt into your unique skin tone letting you set perfect and brighten without cracking or caking or setting or settling i can't read so fenty um, recommended the shade nutmeg for a brightening effect and then coffee just for like an overall setting powder so to start off my look I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation I'm going to use the shade 450 it's a tad bit dark at this point in the year but I'm still going to use it okay and I'm going to use the concealer and I'm using the shade 440 today And to set the concealer, I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier just so that I don't have to consider too many things when doing my review. Okay, so I'm going to set my face now. Um, on this side of my face, I'm going to use Nutmeg. I think it's really cool how they also include this little stopper so that you can just um, save as much product as you should be able to. Was that ASMR? I don't know. So I'm going to use this Morphe PK14 brush. So this is what Nutmeg looks like. This, oh, I like the scent. And it's so, like, finely milled. The shade kind of reminds me of the um, Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder. Oh, and the packaging. It's beautiful. I'm going to use coffee. I feel like coffee might just be a little too dark for me. This is what coffee looks like. Oh. So these powders actually retail for $40 and you get 28 grams or 0.98 ounces of product. So the Laura Mercier powder is $48, so $8 more expensive. And this is all Canadian dollars. And you get 29 grams of product for one ounce. So you get a little bit less than the Laura Mercier, which... I don't really mind so I'll zoom you guys in and I'll show you what my face looks like so this is what my face is looking like I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and continue the review a few moments later Okay, so my makeup is done. This is what I look like right now. Um, 
My skin looks really nice. Looks smooth. Um, I think this side of my face does look a little bit darker. I'm going to show you what my skin looks like with my um, my vlogging camera just so you can see it more up close. Um, so yeah, I used as many Fenty products as I could. I forgot to bring some of them up here. So um, I used a fly liner and I'm going to use the gloss bomb. I just have to put it on. It's downstairs. And I might just add the, um, the highlighter duos like to my highlight so I can have this mostly a Fenty makeup look. Um, one tip that I do have is don't use this to put on your eyes because it really creases really easily or just creases on my eyes because I have slightly hooded eyes. Other than that, it looks really good. Um, it's 12.07 right now and I'm going to be wearing this until 10 p.m. tonight. So like a 10 hour wear test just to see how my oils look and all of that. And I'll see if I can film like check-ins, but the lighting probably is not going to be that great because I'll be at work. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys at the end of the night. Okay, hi guys. So this is my final check-in. It's just about 12 a.m. I have been wearing this foundation for 12 hours. I intended to only wear this for 10, so as soon as I got home, I wanted to take my makeup off. But I had work to do. Ooh, I'm out of breath because I just <laughs> ran up and down the stairs. So this is what my face is looking like. As you can see, I'm a little shiny. Um, I'm not really surprised by the shininess on my nose because my nose is seriously the oiliest part of my face. But other than that, I look pretty good. Um, my makeup lasted pretty well. It's just, there's this smell in here where I crease just a a lot but I've noticed that pretty much every foundation creases on me so it's not a huge deal breaker so this is the end of the video I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up leave some comments down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos and I'll see you all in my next one bye guys